Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dirksen once again playing some more Ogre Battles 64, Person of Lordly Caliber. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start running my movie, or my uh, Let's Plays, about 12, uh, 12 minutes long, just so that it's, you know, not annoying the crap out of anybody. Um, I hope you definitely checked out my last one, all, talking all about the Chaos Frame and the... Uh, the I believe they're called soldiers. I've been calling them infantry for like ever. I don't know why child soldiers. You know that junk like that. Anyway, being technical, being a nerd. Um, other than that, um, I hope you check that out. That definitely helps a lot on information, and I'll probably talk on later if I have a request or anything like that. I'll really go into a large amount of detail and provide a lot of uh, information on that later on. And um, just want to talk about some of the other uh, options that they give you. Um, there's the organization screen, which organizes your groups. Um, there's the Hugo report, which basically goes into uh, Hugo uh, Miller's, uh, basically the whole uh, downplay thing. It shows you the time. I don't know why it says I've been playing for time 10 hours. I must have left this on at some point in time. No, I have not been playing behind your guys' back. Terrible amount. Um, other than that, uh, goes into people. A general discussion on uh, background characters. It's not crazy. It throws the age in there. Um shows uh definitely who they're linked to this is the king this is the prince he's related to me i know him i know him i'm closely related to him and there's whoever the hell that guy is um so it will show you by the factions this is uh uh i'll have to get back and go on that one uh this is lotus uh this is the revolutionary i mean these are um i'll have to remember their names uh they're actually these Five characters are actually from the original installment, um, Ogre Battle March of the Black Queen. These are reoccurring characters in this game. And then these are uh, your guys in the Southern Division right now, and eventually you'll break off and join the Revolutionary Army, which isn't coming up too soon. Um, well, not too, too crazy. So with the people, um, it shows you this. Uh, what One cool thing is, is that the age, as you'll see in the sort of mid-right corner there, uh, in this game, you can have birthdays uh, going, generally, I'll show you that, actually. Going uh, from place to place will uh, change in your bottom left, or bottom right corner, will show you um, the days. And actually, if I progress a little bit more, uh, bam, I just went past Vento 12th, which is my birthday in-game. Um, and it will change, and if you can see now, my age is 19 instead of 18. Um, and the age thing is, you have a little uh, cutscene, stuff like that. They give you a certain present. There are some pretty rare um, items, I believe, in the anywhere between 1 and or one to 4 and 6 to 9 will give you some random junk items. Some of them can be important, like alignment changing items. Um, between, uh, like, say, 35 will usually be about, be about a medium rarity item, and then... 40 like tens will be rare rare stuff which can be quite good um i have played it i've gone around in circles for like i think i spent about four hours doing it just going around in circles getting my age up to like 99 and i'm probably not going to get too far into that because a lot of the end game or one of those items really aren't good until early game and i mean really who wants to sit there at the very beginning of the game and just do circles for four hours and not play the game i mean i have done it but i'm a loser like that so other than that, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, one of the other parts of the Hugo Millers is events. They'll show you um, uh, previous things that happened. Uh, you can show cutscenes by clicking the uh, left button or whatever you have your mouse or um, keyboard set up to. And it will show you um, previous uh, previous things that have happened in the game. Like, say, the beginning screen. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to get into that because blah, 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 blah. Um, it'll show you things. some things like uh, some of these won't. Some of these things will not be... Um, watchable videos they'll just be like oh you uh fought this guy here and there such and such so i'm gonna go ahead and watch the birthday these can get pretty freaking hilarious towards the end a lot of them are just like once you start turning like getting over 80 most people are like why the hell am i still here or i should be dead by now or something like that Also, these seats, as you can see, I got two fighters, two Amazons, Hugo and Dio. Um, they'll be replaced with other characters uh, as you progress. A lot of the neutral characters that join your group and special characters, uh, they'll replace those guys. And uh, it gets pretty cool because each one of them will have a different reaction. They'll also have a different reaction during the ages. Like, I think um, I played one run through where Dio wasn't here and he was replaced with uh, your father. 
and he had some pretty funny um pretty funny sayings and then i had dio to about 80 and he starts saying dude i've known you for way too long do we really need to be doing this what are you like 15 again and your character will have different um different saying towards the end like usually he's like thank you everyone and then towards the end he's just like dot 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 grumble or something like that because he's everybody's getting pissed off at having always having to come to his birthday so gobble of destiny is a nice thing i'm not actually really sure what it does right off the bat but anyway so that's your birthday system um there's it's a really cool interesting thing with the different characters um events are placed on date miscellaneous are um just random history things that you want to read up on say um uh, like, if you want to try and get into the storyline, um, get into uh, different characters, like when they say uh, Southerners or the Holy Lotus Empire, it will give you a good idea of what's going on. Um, and then there's tips, which will also show you uh, training, the soldiers, area investigation, soldier promotion. If you really want to dig into this, um, it's a good idea to read through this. It gives you a basic idea of it. Um, uh, through me talking about it, I went into a bit of the finer details, but not as fine as the actual um, online thing. And then there's, of course, the training, uh, the settings, and your save file. When you go to other places, you can do such things as area investigation. You basically replay the map you did. And the only real point is to find like certain items, go to shops that you've been before if you're trying to get a certain class and stuff like that. So it really does help with that on the side note. But um, I've been talking to it for too freaking long. Um, I'm just going to see what my guys are good at for... And see if I can change any classes around. Um, I can make Beastmasters, Wizards, not really interested in those. Um, Knight's probably going to take me a while to get. Um, Zerkers, Fencers, blah, 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 blah. Uh, a good thing to do is sit this in the middle and then just see who's highlighted in the group. Fighter. Ooh, you can become a fighter. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Anyway, okay, let's go ahead and get on with this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and send it to the uh, Cernero Canyon. I can pronounce that right. And the only really thing that bothers me is uh, there's no actual text here under where the griffin is. There's usually, like, uh, chapters like, uh, what is it? Um, I don't even want to, I don't even know. I can't even think of one. But, um, oh, this is one of my favorite parts. This is where you get another squad added to Leah, the uh, the feisty, blonde-haired uh, Valkyrie. I think she's actually, like, a rune warrior or something like that, but basically she's a warrior class. And you are? I gotta get this gum out of mouth. I'm sorry. I fucking chew on gum all the time, and it really makes this audio really crappy. My troops and I have been assigned to your battalion. Effective immediately. My name is Leah. Leah Silvis. Nice to meet you. Which I think she's kind of the main love interest. It doesn't really go into too crazy about that, even towards the end. But I'm 90% sure that she's the main um, love interest. Anyway, uh, so you're the Silvis everybody's talking about. Watch out, Artura. She may look cute, but from what I heard, she's quite a... Um, let's just say she's difficult to handle. Hey, you don't want to die too young there, Hugo. Excuse me, who is cute? I hope you're not as dumb as you look. What'd you just say? You got a problem? For crying out loud. <laughs> By the way, Artura, why don't you give this company a name? We are now an official battalion of the Southern Division. We need a name to distinguish ourselves, eh? Uh, I don't even... I've never... I don't actually ever think I've ever named these guys before. I'm having a bit of a controller failure. Uh, you know what? I just... I'm going to go with Dragoons. Just, why the hell not? <laughs> I love that name, anyway. The Dragoon, probably the coolest moon unit in this game. The Dragoons. Sure, why not? Dragoons, not bad at all. We must strive to do our best and be true to our name. And here's another man. Um, if you're relatively new to this and you like following the... These tips can actually give you a lot of decent information. Um, I watch some of them when I'm not 100% sure how I did it last time. A lot of them is pretty straightforward. I mean, anybody can really figure out where to go. Um, somewhere towards the end is nice because you can have people coming out of like the bottom right corners, especially when you run into Hawkmen flying units where they can traverse water and mountains with ease. 
um, you want to watch out for that. You can usually see if the scouts have picked up any ambushes and stuff like that. So I definitely, uh, that was scary. I think my cats are trying to kill each other. Um, that's definitely a good uh, little t thing to have. Just so you're not getting screwed up or like, I can't tell you how many times I've turned back and it's like, your base has been raided. I'm like, what the hell's going on? I don't have anybody over there. So, um, because I've been training a lot of these guys, I'm not going to get too crazy into those who don't aren't uh, using soldiers. So, I think I'm going to send Troy right, because he's... Fuck, always picks right. Um, ben Kamer is going to go with him, because those two are always kicking ass together. I'm going to leave him off. Troy's going to be the real brunt. I'm going to throw Leah, because she's new. She's going to head out straight. She can traverse mountains really well. I'm going to send Adam in behind. I'm actually not going to use myself, or my unit, in this, um, in this go. I'm going to send Dio up with Leah as well. Just because I don't, um, I've had tr enough training on my character and I don't really need to upgrade, uh, too, too much. A lot of people, um, I like to use multiple units just because I like the diversity. Uh, some people just will make the main character super powerful or have one other character group be super powerful. To tell you the truth, when I first started this game, I never used, the, I never used, um, Magnus as the default name is. Um, I always used the Phalanx guy because I thought he was the coolest guy ever, so this guy always died. And it was hilarious because I kept losing because of that. Dun, dun, dun. Check it out. Plumped headband. Plumed. Blah, 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 blah. So what am I supposed to do now? I'm supposed to chill while Dio goes and wrecks this guy's face. You know what, in the next video, I'm actually going to go into the controls a little bit as well, like the offhand controller controls. Um, the new unit here is the Valkyrie. Um, they will have, I believe it's two attacks in the front, which are melee. Not too bad. Valkyries don't really have a lot of standard defense. They do a reasonable amount of um, damage, but there goes my alarm. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop it soon. But um, in the back, they will have a magic attack, which can be quite devastating if combined. So yes, um, after this battle, I'm going to go ahead and alignment down. Sometimes the alignment drops just for no apparent reason, I've noticed. I don't know why, but it will do that, and it does become a pain in the ass. So drop that for now. Um, so yeah, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and make another one pretty much immediately after. So. Uh, yeah, I'll have that uploaded soon, and uh, thank you very much for watching once again, and um, yeah, that's about all I can say. Uh, thank you, and I hope you keep watching.